Alright, so here is the continuation of our week 2 activities. It's all about assonance. Say it with me. Assonance. One more time. Assonance. Very good. Here are the following objectives. Participate actively in the group activity. Write words that begin with vowel letters. Identify words that show alliteration and assonance. Read a poem and familiarize assonance. Before we proceed to the lesson, let us have first fun together. On a clean sheet of paper, write as many words as you can that start with the following vowels. Let us take example, the vowel sound A or the letter A. Write as many words as you can that begin with letter A. In 5 seconds, let us try writing as many words as we can. Okay, so I have written here ant, alligator, and auntie. Okay. Do you get it? Thumbs up if you get it. Very good. Now, write as many words as you can with this next vowel. Five. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Now, I want you to write as many words as you can that start with this vowel letter. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. How about this next vowel? Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. How about the last vowel? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. If you are done with this activity, let's proceed with the next slide. Let us answer an always awesome activity. So in this activity, you have to list down words that begin with the vowel letters. Use your imagination in constructing appropriate sentences using some of the words you listed. Complete the table by listing down five words that begin with vowel letters. Choose three words and use them in constructing one whole sentence. So I want you to write here all the words that you have written a while back. Okay, the E, I, O, and U. And after filling out this table, I want you to pick three from these words and then use it in a sentence. Combine all the words and use it in a sentence. Example, let us take the vowel A. We have alligator, artist, apple, avocado, and adobo. Alligators do not eat apples and avocado. There, you are able to construct or create a sentence using three of the words that I have listed. Right, if you are done with this slide, then let's proceed with the next. I want you to meet again Kiko and he says good job for constructing your own sentence. All of these sentences are examples of assonance. Below is another example of assonance. The vowel sound A or A is repeated in the sentence. Let us read it. The cat ran after the alligator past the pastry shop in the alleyway. Let us repeat. The cat run after the alligator past the pastry shop and the alleyway. Did you notice the repetition of the vowel sound A or A? Right. That is called assonance. What do you call them again? Assonance. Very good. We proceed with the next slide. Remember, assonance is the repetition of vowel sounds usually at the beginning of successive words. 
Let us repeat. Assonance is the repetition of vowel sounds usually at the beginning of the successive words. Let us answer another activity. Observe, identify, and underline. In this activity, you have to examine the sentences and identify the words that have the same vowel sound. Read and select properly in the sentence the words that have the repeating vowel sounds and underline your answers. Let us take this example. Some people ordered old furniture from antique stores. Where is the repeated vowel sound? The O sound. So I want you to underline that word that has the vowel sound of O. Did you get it? Thumbs up if you understood the instruction. Very good. So for number one, Amy actually arrived on time. Or Amy actually arrived on time. Okay? So where are the repeated vowel sounds? We have Amy actually arrive. So there is a repetition of the vowel sound A. So I want you to pause this video and answer number two, three, up to the tenth number. Alright? If you are done with this slide, then let's proceed with the last one. Challenge yourself. Read the poem carefully. Each line contains two words with the repeated vowel sounds. And circle these sounds because they are examples of assonance. The first two lines were done for you. This is a poem called Spring Kids by Brie Kristen. So, we have here two words underlined on the first A line of the poem the morning was cold with a bold statement so there is a repetition of the what vowel sound O sound okay the O sound how about the second one the morning dew was wet and set in the ground so we have the underlined wet and set so what is the repeated vowel sound letter E so I want you to locate and underline two words in each of these lines that contain the vowel sounds. So these are called assonants. Alright, so if you're done with this activity, then you need to clap yourselves. Congratulations for finishing the two topics and see you again next week. God bless and keep safe.